the Brisbane Lions come out onto the MCG. A thunderous roar for a Warrior team with a leader better than any. They're on the brink of immortality three in a row. Well, going into the third grand final, um, I suppose the anticipation of winning was always there because you know we've been through it twice before we've had to uh, and the year before we had a real gutsy win so this time around it was like we knew what to do everything was put in place but i suppose uh the crowd expectation was a bit more so everyone was expecting you to win um collingwood again so it was one of those things you know the old rivalry let's stick it up and you know you either you either love them or hate them and look, at the end of the day i think our preparation was right carousella Looking for Lynch, one out with Wakeland. And Alistair Lynch has taken the mark and will line up for goal number four. Point range, Alistair Lynch kicks his fourth. Third one, nah, most probably when we got up, most probably about 40, might have been 45, 46 points. We were up by a bit and it was midway through the last and I looked up at the scoreboard and I sort of took a gaze around the ground, I'm looking around and next minute the ball's coming down and it sort of shocked me, you know, like, oh man, we've still got a game here, you know, but you could actually, it was the only time we, I actually enjoyed, you know, bar the first two, that was the only time I enjoyed a moment in the grand final. grabbing your kid after the game and then you felt it then because I was always the last one in the rooms. So I walk right around the yard with my kid just because you never know. Done it with the first one, done it with the second grand final, done it with the third, you know, because you just don't know. You never know and obviously, you know, you know, we were on the other side of the sword the next year but um, it was a, it, it's a definitely euphoric feeling no matter what. I remember the crowd lining up out here to get autographs when we got back and I felt so sorry for them but I'll give credit to Acker, Power, Black, myself. We sat there and Nigel Lappin was there for a little bit as well. We sat there, it was dark mate and there was still, the line was back to the other end of the goal line but that was pretty much it then though because the line went like the biggest snake you've ever seen in this place, human snake. We sat there till the sun went down and made sure every person that was there got an autograph and even though we were the last four, five, it was fantastic. And that's one of the biggest memories I come out of that we stood there and like I, I couldn't give up on them because they never gave up on, on us and look, they made us feel euphoric too like they made us feel like a man of steel with I think we had 22 supermen out there in that third one because I think everyone expected us to win everybody they were, they were, except maybe those 50,000 Collingwood supporters and people that was about it everyone else expected us to win I reckon there was no one doubting that we wouldn't win it so there was a lot of expectation and then you know, to do that was fantastic. It's three-time premiership play, which is a fantastic ring to it. And look, we just had a, at, at the end of the day, we had an unbelievable side, but we had some people in there, uh, most probably better people than footballers. You know, we had a lot of blokes there who were just genuine people, genuine blokes, genuine Australians, just, you know, cut their right arm off, you know, for anybody. And I think that's why we were so good at the end of the day because uh, there was a helping hand, hey, we could all play football as well, so uh, that's a bit of a bonus too.